Welcome to the celebrated nightly news of Calaveras County. My name is John. And I'm Kim. And we thank you for stopping by on a Monday, no, Tuesday Tuesday evening. That's right. Hope you had a long, nice, long weekend with Martin Luther King Day. Mm -hmm. Um, And I guess we'll start off the news tonight with a little bit of, phew, this could have been much worse. Could have been much worse. And this is not to make light of the minor injuries um, and also the man that was in the vehicle that struck him um, that had a sustained a broken arm. But I guess we should tell you what happened. On Murphy's Grade Road, um, about noon or about, a little before, I guess it was 11. No, it was 11. Before noon today, yes. 11.30 or so. Mm-hmm. Um, a Vallecito School District bus was struck by a man coming downhill. It was on Murphy's Grade Road. Mm-hmm. Um, these, the students were on the way back to Michelson School from attending a play at Bret Hart. And um, a man from Arnold was heading down. and got a little bit too, little too speedy into one wet. of the corners. The it was wet. wet. And struck a bus coming head on. Correct. Head on. Well, kind of a glancing head on. And you may be able to see this on there. So let's see here. Um, kind of a glancing head on. You'll see there's... Basically, the uh, Toyota pickup was totaled. Um, there was, and the, the driver that was driving the pickup did sustain a broken wrist. Mm-hmm. Um, and, but looks like most of there was maybe a concussion, uh, some complaining about some neck I think, pain. I think one of the actually older, I don't think there were any any major or minor injuries with any of the kids. A couple bumps on the head. A couple bumps on the head. Um, uh, but the, there was, let me see, a couple of adults. Let me see. Um, Nancy Salter of Murphy's. Um, I think she was driving. Okay, she was driving. That's right. No I'm injuries sorry. to the driver. Um, Mary Mary Benjamin of Murphy's, 57, um, was taken to Mark Twain Hospital with complaining of head head pain and release. So maybe so a minor to, concussion. Yes. Um, also, there was a Beth Christ, 48 of Murphy's, complained of uh, neck and back pain, and she said she was going to seek own mm-hmm. aid, decline treatment, and there were two nine-year-olds. Poor little kids. Uh, they yeah. probably had an yeah. exciting afternoon. They had, they had head pain, and they, they were also released. Treated and so. released from Mark Twain yes. St. Joseph's Hospital. And we and I spoke to a parent earlier this evening. Um, her daughter was actually on the bus right right behind the kids. So she her her daughter daughter wasn't actually on this bus that was involved right. in the accident. But the parents were just so when they got the news, they got you know they all they all got a call at oh, home. Oh, nothing is <laughs> in a panic. scarier than a school bus and crash. She said all the kids are fine. They actually were released. They were actually back at school, and the parents were you know telling everybody what happened. Yeah. So yeah. So thank God for that. So that was the big news of today. Yes. Everybody was scrambling. Mm-hmm. Uh, Murphy's Grade Road was closed for uh, about an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, and luckily, I mean, there's been some bad bad accidents right Grade in that st- and right in that stretch. Um, but but luckily this one uh, everybody made it through with minor stuff, mm-hmm. and I guess that kind of segues into well you want to do a weekend recap then no, we'll go that's to fine. We, can, we can go on to the to the board of soups sure. okay board of soups recap uh, board of soups met this morning and this morning was actually, welcoming actually it was a long, long meeting today it was like an eight hour meeting today. Yeah, I get, and we're going to get the video portion of it maybe tomorrow. And uh, we understand from Ed Lark that it was uh, the first session was like three and a half hours mm-hmm. plus another two hours. So, um, but this morning the big thing is they welcomed um, the new CAO. The new CAO. And let me get down here to it. They Boy, put, they we've put been out the red a lot carpet. of stuff here. Robert C. Lawton was welcomed as the Calaveras County's new CAO to reception ahead of the supervisors' meeting this morning. County employees and members of the community filled the supervisors' chambers, wishing him well as he takes the helm of county government. Mm-hmm. Now he's coming in at uh, challenging budget times. Yes, There's some budget shortfalls and some other issues, but um, let's see here. We'll so you have some video of the reception? We do. And Bethany Hunt shot this this morning. Was actually Thank shot. I turned right around. This is probably kind of too close. I really like this. Uh, I just want to thank the members <laughs> of the board for this opportunity. He said he seemed like a really nice guy. Yeah, nice guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody who showed up. Uh, I'm going to pretend that you're here for me and not for the coffee and donuts and <laughs> for any other pressing business on the agenda. Um, it's been a pleasure to meet everybody uh, that came in today and folks who work in the departments. And I look forward to, to working with everybody here. 
here, both in this room and, and the people in the county. So once again, thanks very much. I'm looking forward to a great future here with all of you. Welcome. Welcome to the county. Um, one more little piece that we'd like to play is also at this meeting, it was kind of a, this is uh, Mark Twain St. Joseph's president, Feliciano Heron, but in this capacity he was speaking as the head, as the president, we'll turn the audio down here, he was speaking as the president of the new Calaveras County Business Council, and this is a new group the business um, group that has been formed by uh, Mike Mar the likes of Mark Twain St. Joseph's Hospital, Vintage Realty, uh, some of the older, more mm -hmm. you know, larger businesses in the area, um, Greenhorn Creek, mm -hmm. and what it is is they're going to have uh, a paid executive director to represent business interests at the county level. Okay. And there is, um, and they made this was kind of their coming out party today, talking at public comment at Board of Supervisors. Um, and they have, they have the, kind of what their concerns and what there will be as far as to promote um, economic health in the county, business health in the county, economic development, um, bringing businesses into the area and oh, help so kind are, of shape. Yeah, that is that is their that is their goal. Um, okay. And I think um, to make sure that is a a business conducive environment in mm -hmm. the county, and mm -hmm. that is their their stated goal. And also, um, public comments this morning, there was some discussion on the ambulance uh, services and also um, the state of the contract for the ambulance services in Calaveras County. Okay. Um, and also, Bethany, um, she attended the meeting today and took uh, was there for basically forever. From eight until four o'clock. Um, eminent afternoon. domain was pushed off for a couple weeks, mm -hmm. right? So that got pushed back. So on the on this is what if you've been following this, this is on whether they're going to need to use eminent domain or if in, or the you're even finalizing the exact location of the new jail facility mm -hmm. that was pushed back. Uh, North Vista Plaza. North Vista Plaza got a five zero. Mm -hmm. Got a five zero going forward. So that is what 160 some units, yes, isn't I that believe. a uh -huh. new? Um, and that's a new development down in Valley Springs, and that's assuming economic conditions would be so they could sell all 170 yes. of those. But anyway, uh, North Vista Plaza that's been um, on the agenda, going up back and forth mm -hmm. for quite a while. That is up and running. Is uh, got a 5-0 vote. And also the they're just trying to decide now. The board is trying to decide now as to where to put the new jail. Yeah, that's, that's and I think the they have a, and that if they're going to use eminent domain on the parcel that they mm -hmm. had. Um, suggested yes exactly. so is that it for the boring news? I think so see I don't this stuff is totally over my head so I don't want to talk about <laughs> yeah, it yeah, not boring but for the, <laughs> not boring it's the just I'm news, not right? I'm not a um, a professional in the government areas shall we say <laughs> more into the decorating the entertainment uh, decorating you know fun that stuff, kind of you know? stuff right <laughs> yes exactly All right. we've also hired a new part-time reporter yes photographer Hannah Heath um, she she's going to be doing her first gig tomorrow. Yes, she huh? is. Yeah. Her first gig. She's actually newly engaged to high school sweetheart Eric Aldrin, and they are getting married this spring. He is a Angels Camp firefighter. That's right. She also owns Aldrin Photography, so we are very pleased to have her on board and very excited. She's very ambitious and excited, and she'll be doing, doing some work for us part-time. That'll be nice. So she's even assuming the business name of her future husband. Yes, I so know. That is, they've, you been, know that's, they've, been, they've been dating since they were like 15. So, wow, yes. kind of like us? Is that the... Oh, <laughs> no. wait, no. We waited right. until we were 30, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, and I guess a little bit of, I guess, national news, because it's kind of sure. top... It's kind of trumped some of the stuff, and there's a couple pieces. And one of the things that was really stunning today for a lot of people is actor Heath Ledger mm -hmm. uh, was found dead in, in, a, in a New York apartment. He was 28 years old. Very sad. Um, they suspect... Um, Accidental drug overdose. Uh, he has been having. He had been, and from all reports, been having depression problems since he had split with his wife. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just shocked when I saw and that. And it was, and also, yeah. So they're pending uh, autopsy as well. But it was just 28 years old. And you remember him from, I guess the the role he's most famous for is one of the cowboys in Brokeback Mountain. Brokeback Mountain. But uh, uh, numerous other, other roles as well. Well, he was the Knight's well. really um, Tale, the one there, and, and Mel also Gibson. Mel Gibson. So he's very familiar, yes. and it was um, very sad mm -hmm. and very young. Yes. 
And also a so little bit. There, like, there was a couple of accidents this, this yes. weekend. A couple of accidents. Um, let me see. A moderate injury <coughs> accident on Saturday. Motorcycle <laughs> versus rock. Um, I guess the guy was driving on private property and not, at an unsafe speed and collided with a large rock and was thrown over the handlebars of the motorcycle. Did the rock win? It sounds like the rock won. Yeah, boy. Um, moderate injuries. Complaint of complaint of pain to the back. Doesn't say. Murray was ta oh he was transported to Mark Twain Hospital, so that was one accident. And then, and then there was another one, I believe. Um, a young gal, a young sixteen-year-old gal driving. Um, yeah, yeah. And she was, I, th I think it was just busy traffic or something it was due to the traffic, <coughs> right? So. Now, what are you doing that for? I don't. I don't perfume. know. I know yeah, not to work perfume when, when I'm near you. <laughs> um. So that happened when. When did that other one happen? Uh, the other one was, uh, let's see here. So we, we posted so much stuff today that we have to scroll way down to get to all this stuff. Oh, oh, huh. Let me see. Nose issue. I haven't sneezed all day. Till a I minor injury camera. accident on Monday due to, he due to heavy holiday traffic. Um, let me see. It occurred Monday Monday about 10, 15 a.m. The accident occurred at Murphy's Grade Road in French Gulf Road. The same location right as the bus accident spot. this morning. Imagine that. Um, the full CHP release is enclosed on that also. So um, that was a young 16-year-old girl that was driving. Um, I don't have the full details here. I don't know why it's not saying read more. Okay. All right. But, um, um, the roads were bad this weekend. Yeah. And they still are. <laughs> and that's an understatement. It was basically, uh, let's see, it was, it was another up. skating rink. <laughs> now, when we were coming back from up the hill. From Bear Valley on Sunday. How long did it take us? Two to three hours to get home, I'd say. Three hours? About three hours to get home to Arnold from Bear Valley. Um, the reason being is, I, from from what I heard, from what I've heard, is that Caltrans waited waits until the people are ready to head home, then they start plowing and sanding. Right. But I think there was so many people leaving because the snow started early at Bear Valley, started coming down pretty heavily. They hadn't gotten to it yet. Because that was a cold. It was a cold, cold snap storm. Right it, was, in the, uh, it was cold. <laughs> it was. And, but I think <laughs> they hadn't gotten to it yet, so we were stuck in traffic for two to three hours, probably right. And then after that, I think it's uh, and this. You know, but then after that, it's just been winter storm yes. stuff. Uh, so if you've been up the hill, you notice the uh, everything from basically Arnold it up is is Arnold just be on careful. up just is. Just drive with extra caution. Even though you have four wheel drive, doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. No, but it's coated with that need, nice you need protective to be yes. coat of ice, right? Yes, exactly, keep, exactly. Because they don't want any of that pavement damage, no, so it's covered no. with that protective layer. <laughs> no, is that exactly? No. So <laughs> there's the, been ahead, basically just numerous bumper car incidences. Mm -hmm. I mean, Over the just. Weekend. No, no, no serious injuries, thank goodness, but a lot of bumper car issues this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And the definitely. Pine Tree is having a snow contest. We Send are? Us, yes, we are. Send us your best snow pictures, snowman, or anything snow you can find. Win, win two tickets to the Angels Camp Movie Theater. And this snowman you have here, you can't really see I real well. I love that snowman. The snowman had a, like a head wreath yes, he had nice little, little, little arms. It's and... a girl. Oh, a it's boys. a girl. It's a female. See what I put? Isn't she pretty? But it's not anatomically correct. So email your pictures to Kim at thepinetree.net. Why do you say that? She's got a pretty wreath on her head. <laughs> but <laughs> They also I'm, have the, screening of sick, the first screening of Sicko this weekend. Um, at the Murphy's Diggins Mobile Home Park. And Bethany attended that. I guess there was a good attendance on that. Um, she said it was, let me see. That's way down here. It is. It? This, all this stuff is, we've been busy. Gosh, it's way down here. And also there was the... Um, Contro controversial sicko gets lucid, thoughtful reaction. She said it could have been a lot worse with the two different political parties being there. But she said it was actually very, very tame. Very tame. It was very tame. <laughs> yes, huh? very tame. <laughs> everybody was everybody behaved yes and the angels murphy's rotary held their annual crab feed on saturday night we have do we have video of that or just pictures just pictures we have pictures of that on the site as well very good attendance for that as usual they always get a good attendance for that bethany said they gave her free crab so she was happy wow, about not that. bad <laughs> and the bret hart basketball team's Played this weekend too. Yeah, and they didn't, didn't win. They didn't win. They've been get. They've been playing so well, mm -hmm. um, and um, but just coming up a, a touch shy. Yeah. Now I've also also the 
Mark Twain um, eighth graders and the Avery eighth graders went to a basketball tournament this weekend in Lake That's Tahoe. That's right. We in haven't Lake got Tahoe. scores on that yet or pictures. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. They were actually able to get Send there? them in. Send them in. Send, send in your pictures and scores. Yeah, right. I, I believe so. Yeah, we had a couple people tell us they were going. Um, so they had a tournament over the weekend there. Um, Bear Valley was busy all weekend. We were up there. They had yeah, the winter was. explosion. And basically on Saturday, mm -hmm. they had another one of those days, probably over 4,000 mm -hmm. um, 4, skiers. Um, it's easier to count it. Um, what cast one of the parking guys? They had over 1,400 cars. You there. know, this this felt a lot busier than over New Year's this time. <laughs> this, you know why? I think because it was snowing a lot during on Saturday. It was absolutely beautiful. It was the perfect day. Right. It was warm. You didn't need a heavy coat or anything. Sunday was freezing cold. Well, it was, so it was had to the, come the, the wind. The wind chill factor. So it was just packed. People, <laughs> the guys that work up there, the ambassadors like you, yes, that uh, have the jobs up there for the for the free yes. season lift tickets. Um, we're, we're, put, we're just seating people together to have lunch. We didn't even know each other. Well, they have no to. Also, it's kind of like dating game. Exactly. Yes. So. <laughs> Your kid got stuck with his family. He's like, they don't want to be here. I don't want to have lunch with these people. But <laughs> they were taking chairs. If those chairs weren't being used, there was a body sitting in them. Hey, but they got everybody through. And the other good thing is the snow was just really, really nice. It was beautiful. Um, well, hats off to the grooming crews. They've done yes. a very nice job of um, of working the snow, grooming it, and now they're probably going to end up, time to get these um, storms through, probably get another couple couple feet on top of there to, I think it's gonna be, to work by with. By this weekend, I guess there's supposed to be a lot of powder. So if you, for you powder freaks out there, head on up this weekend, and which I don't like powder. You don't like I mean, powder? No, I neither does. Yeah. I can't ski powder. Bethany also attended um, a Sonora Martin Luther King celebration That's this right. weekend. The beloved community focuses on local change. We have change. video in a lot of these up on yes. the site as well if you want to watch. More than 200 people packed the Sonora High School Auditorium on Sunday, January 20th, for a cel celebration honoring slain civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King. And we have an article on that up as well. Um, the Arnold, another Arnold workshop being held tomorrow night. Tomorrow 6 night. Yeah, Basil the first Fisher's one Bowl. of the um, Arnold... Rural Livable Plan Meetings, yes. and this was held at the Hazel Fisher, as Kim said, and the next one's tomorrow, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at 6 p.m., same place. Same place. Yes, so, and we will be there. We weren't there on Sunday, but we'll try to get to this to, one. I know. We have to kind of balance everything. It's hard to get to everything, so and, we will be you know, there tomorrow. And according to Kim, I balance stuff really well, right? <laughs> yeah, as far just, as my exactly. As far as business and family life, don't I? I just balance that. There's no? another cooking class at Ironstone you know, this weekend. She just moved right on. She didn't stop Sold out she cooking class with, with Chef James Lehman again. Sold out on sat on Sunday. That's good. Pan, sa pan, let me see. Sautéing and pan frying class. Sold out. The next one coming up is Mushroom mushroom Lovers, I believe. He does a great job. Yeah, he's, he's very he's popular. He's a lot of fun. He's very popular. He has a lot of fun. He does very good um, rapport with the crowd. Mm -hmm. And he, you can tell he really cares about what he, he does, does he as does. well. He does. You can tell he loves what he does. Yes. But he makes his, his little two-year-old eat, like, fresh basil. I wouldn't do that. I don't even like the stuff. Well, that little guy's going to, you know, you know grow a little up. little girl, and she even picks it off her it's food. It's going to have the elevated it's taste. Green. You know, because have the green. elevated she, she taste. She knows not to eat that now. It's All right. funny. And I guess we better talk a little bit on the financial markets. Um, over the weekend and in through today, um, and going to the start of today, there was over $100 billion erased from the world financial markets. Um, a lot of the overseas markets were down five or so percent. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, my nose again. Um, well, it's not me. I don't have anything on. So I'm gonna look I know. Um, <laughs> the Dow opened up this morning down almost 500 points, but it clawed its way back to be end up down only about 100 points. Okay. <coughs> Bless you. I'm sorry. Everybody um, always comments on your nasal on my problems nasal that you problems. have on air. Yes, here we go. And I don't know what it is tonight. All right. Um, initial draw, steep drop of 450 points. The Dow crept back to just down over 100 points. Um, but a lot of people believe that the worst may be over for the Dow because mm -hmm. the Fed dropped the um, interest rate by three quarters of a percent, I think. So they're going to um, open up the supply of money and make credit okay. a little easier and borrowing easier. On a related note, California foreclosures were up a up a staggering 421% oh in the wow. fourth quarter of 2007.
there were 32,000 California homes foreclosed in just that How quarter many? alone. 32,000. 32, wow, that's just sad. Um, Very sad. A lot of people got into these subprime loans not, not reali realizing what yeah. they were getting into. It's just sad. It's just well, really in the sad. economy, uh, and basically mm -hmm. what's happening is if, if a lot of these properties, if they're upside down, mm -hmm. uh, but the, a lot of people are saying that it's starting to create some opportunities out there as well. So there is a silver lining. Yes. There's probably some deals. I'm sure there probably is. All right. Okay. And let Enough me see. Black Park, Black Park players looking for a few good men tonight. They had some more. I guess they had they held one extra night of auditions tonight. They're looking for a few good men for their spring comedy, White Sheep of the Family. Was it 7 p.m. tonight? Sheep. Yes. So that was held tonight. Um, tomorrow night is the Angels Camp Business Association Annual Installation Dinner and Volunteer Appreciation Night at Camp's wow. Restaurant tomorrow night at 5.30. Awana for for um, Chapel of the Pines has been canceled due to weather. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. <laughs> yes. And let me see what else. Oh, we went and saw the movie Juno over the weekend. That was a good movie. It was actually good. We went actually took a little bit of a break since we have we have I was trying to do that time. balancing thing yes. that um, that I have trouble with. Yes, but but the we, we took our kids to see this movie. We asked the guy at the front counter, "Is it okay for kids?" Yeah, it's fine. And we get in there, and the stuff it was like they were talking about. Okay, okay, great. Yeah, you the subject go out and more popcorn. Say, you can get some uh, soda. It was like a little parts of it were a little probably too mature for him. It was well done, though. Yes, very well done. Very highly well done. Highly recommend the movie. It may get best movie actually. I've heard so. And also, Sandy Pierce sent us in some great snow shots. So we've got some really nice snow shots up on the site if you want to see those. Mm -hmm. And these are from Dorrington. Look at that right here in Dorrington. It's and, beautiful. Uh, She's always so good about sending us stuff. Thanks, Sandy. We appreciate it. Some great shots. You see Look my that. goats that I put on the front? I think that's a Dorrington Meadow. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, Look how pretty Kim loves, that is. Kim loves goats. She wants to. <laughs> so cute. Even though we live in the middle of town, she, I, you know, I don't think the neighbors would like if we had no. a bunch of goats in the backyard. It's so cute the way they climb on top of roofs. They're just, I just think they're really cute. You like goats? There were some goats loose, loose, loose today on, um, what was it? <laughs> Ogan Dam at Lakeview Circle. Uh huh. And the picture I have is from Wikipedia. I just thought it was cute because there's a bunch of goats in the road. Lots of goats. Yes, lots of goats. No Lots cows, goats. goats. Was it goat goats. season? Yeah, because I mean, typically we have cows, right? <laughs> yes. Lots of cows, but. Uh... We have a nice article on Twisted Oak. Watch out, frogs. Calaveras County also has rubber chickens. If you've never visited Twisted Oak Winery, um, you really need to. You're in for a special treat. They are they are a little twisted out there, but it's a they pretty, good, it's a pretty they have cool a place to visit. They do have a great sense of humor. They do great. They have a, do a wonderful job in marketing. And one of the things is their blog, El Blago mm -hmm. Torcido, is number six in the United States. Of rated all the six. wine blogs, and it's a highly rated blog. They have a lot of fun with it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they have lots of stuff. Show us your twisteds and all yes. kinds of. Uh, yeah, we, we actually have a link to that to that blog on our site. If you take a look at the article that we have up on Twisted Oak, you can um, scroll down and, and go go directly to their blog from there. They have a lot of fun with it. Mm -hmm. All right, um, let's see. What's this? And they, they, they have a uh, one of their... Um, oh, did they win something? Yeah, they won. They actually won three gold medals at the San Francisco Chronicle wow. Wine Competition. Irish, Irish took in some medals. Um, I know Chatham did. Quite a few Calaveras County wineries took in Very some medals. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And this Friday night they are as, having... As they would say at Twisted Oak. Are you uh, twisted? But then they have their expletive... Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. A fun event they host on the last Friday of each month is Twisted After Dark. They will be having another one this Friday night, January 25th, from 5.12 p.m. Okay. to 7.41 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Cost is 0000. .00. It will be held in the tasting room at the winery in Vallecito. Join Twisted Oak after closing on the last Friday of each month. At the winery in Vallecito, we pull out something interesting from the library or cave, and we have something yum yummy to snack upon. Great. Bundle up and join us for some spectacular wine with a spectacular sunset. Why not stop by on your way up or down the hill? And we have about four minutes left, so I guess we better get to weather. All righty. Because we should probably spend a, a tad more time on weather today, huh? All right. Well, it's just snow, 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 basically, right? Pretty much. <laughs> now, normally you would think I this is... I want to talk about this funny thing that I am. Okay, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Actually, it's not very nice. Probably talking about felines. <laughs> <What's>... <laughs> Have you ever gone to 
on to this website. It's it's crazy. It's got all these funny things on. We're gonna it. start featuring more odd news. Yeah. A little segment we're gonna start doing. I don't know if people think that we're against cats or anything, though. There was a so, cat found in a suitcase. Missing cat found in owner's suitcase. Oops. In Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. The last time cat owner Kelly Levi saw her tiger-striped feline was before she took her husband to the airport. The 24-year-old came back to her house late Friday to find the bottom step where Gracie Mae would usually be waiting empty. Oh, no. <laughs> Gracie wasn't there. No. <laughs> Tore the house apart looking for the 10-month-old Tabby who had been spayed just days before. She and her dad took out the bathroom tiles and part of the cabinet to check oh, her crawl space. Oh, man. And papered the neighborhood with lost count signs. Then she got a phone call. Hi, you're not going to believe this, but I am calling from Fort Worth, Texas, and I accidentally picked up your husband's luggage. And when I opened the luggage, a cat jumped out. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's funny. I went to a pack and saw some of the clothes and saw it wasn't my suitcase. I <laughs> anyway. see. I screamed like a little girl when that cat ran out. Can you imagine opening oh, yeah. your suitcase and having a cat Have run a out? Cat jump out. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. We better go to weather. Now, this is an Arnold forecast that looks very much like a Bear Valley forecast. Yes, it does. You see, tonight we have snow. Let's see. What will the, what will the forecast be? Snow Tonight every day. snow. Tomorrow snow. Every Tomorrow day. night snow. Okay, here we go. Percentage snow percentage. 80, 70, 80, 60, 60, 70, 40. Saturday's a chance and Sunday's a chance. And it is, that is Arnold, Bear not Valley Bear Valley. Well, Bear Valley's the same. Snow every day. Snow every day. Mm-hmm. Murphy's, let me see, tonight 70% chance of showers, tomorrow 70% chance of showers, high of 41, Wednesday night rain, Thursday 60% chance of snow, high of 41, Thursday night 70% chance of snow, Friday showers, um, Friday night showers, Saturday chance of showers, and Saturday night chance of showers. And for Angel's Camp, looks like they're going to get a lot of rain, doesn't talk about snow or anything this week, just a lot of rain all week. And we're talking to a gentleman in uh, from West Point this afternoon, and they were getting slushy, snowish. Mm -hmm. and... It got down all the way down to, where were we this weekend? It was low. Yeah. Murphy's even, I mean, the, all the coast ranges, mm -hmm. too. So it's, Angel's uh, Camp. It, wasn't down, it was down to Angel's Camp, wasn't pretty it? Pretty close. I can't remember. All right. It's all a blur. Change, if you're looking at change requirements right now, right now as of 10 p.m., they are on at uh, three miles uh, east of Murphy's on up. Mm -hmm. So basically Forest Meadows on up, you're going to have chains. Okay. Um, let's see. It looks like we're not going to have time for Bangor, Maine. Oh, that's okay. Tough. We'll get to that tomorrow. Yes, I'm sure it's cold and probably snowy, right? Oh, let's see. <laughs> the odds are roughly pretty Quickly good. Quickly for Bangor, Maine. Here we go. We can't skip Bangor, Maine. Okay. 27, 8, 22, minus 4. Four, seventeen and four, twenty-seven and fourteen. We thank you very much for stopping by. And tomorrow night we're probably gonna have some changes in the format. Yeah. Start lighten, lightening yes, things up a little bit. Aren't we? Up, I think we need to lighten stuff right. up a little. Okay. We thank you very much for stopping by and we'll see you tomorrow night and have a good night and drive safe. Good night.